Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Listen up, guys. This video is going to let you in on the opportunity that's just around the corner. Its visage is staring you in the face. However, the problem remains. The problem is that people are very worried about what the future holds for their favorite cryptocurrency, and when they see these charts going sideways for an extended period of time, they start to believe that the Bitcoin bull run has ended and that their beloved coin will never again reach its all-time high. This makes them worry that 2020 and 2021 will be just like any other year. That is not the case, and then we go downhill with that and that. And I'm here to dispel that myth for you. After I finish walking you through everything and explaining it, you'll feel so confident that you'll tear up these conversations when you leave. Believe me when I say that John Deaton will also be speaking. I wanted to show you this clip in a first video, and today I'm going to show it to you. So, without further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're going to hear about attorneys who go back to theory and what they say. You're going to laugh. For whatever reason, the $62,506 Bitcoin price is not working right now. 1.09% over the previous day, XRP has added 3% to Ethereum's value, which is presently at 28.97 USD. USDC and TA are both still at 99 cents. At least one the overall cryptocurrency market cap is 2 trillion 295 billion US dollars. If someone flips it or talks to it, we can get it back to life because it's sitting at 50 cents. Currently, I have just recently announced Lux Lines over in Discord. As a test run for physical products to complement your digital items, we are offering a complimentary Lux Line t-shirt with any two NF t-shirts bought in the next 10 orders. We created 12 by 18 inch canvas paintings to hang on your walls. So it's a good size for them to come straight to your place. We are now dealing with t-shirts. The prices have not changed, as you can see. Therefore, we are not, in fact, increasing prices. We are simply gathering information to gauge interest and quality. Your thoughts and feedback are much appreciated. After that, we will begin to expand to different items. Remember, it comes with a free t-shirt, but it's only valid for the first 10 buyers. Does anyone remember Miguel Diaz? In 2019, you mentioned that Ripple might join the ranks of the last resort. However, this couldn't have happened if Ripple hadn't undergone fundamental changes as a firm today. Ripple becomes Mateo. After the switch to proof of stake prior to Ethereum 2022, the Ethereum Foundation may have been selling or marketing ETH as a security without registering it. According to the inquiry, the network validated transactions using a method analogous to Bitcoin's proof of work. Proof of stake was then used, and Chair Gary Gensler reportedly believes that staking makes anything a security since someone wants to stay cast to deposit funds. And this has been reported in the media even as far back as 2022, when the proof of stake shift occurred. A cutting event could result in the loss of the monies. However, they stand to gain a staking payment if they are chosen to verify transactions. Therefore, that is an investment contract plan in Gary Gensler's mind. And my guess is that the Ethereum Foundation is in charge of it, at least in principle. That theory is completely incorrect and contradictory with stances, in my opinion, for several reasons. The Secret Service has formally taken over. Just now you were telling us about a few of them. However, for the sake of setting the stage, you know. In a speech that is still available on the SEC website, Bill Hinman, director of the Division of Corporate Finance, officially said in 2018 that Ethereum was no longer a security, regardless of whether it had been sold as a security initially. Why? Because it was a decentralized network. The requirements for transactions do not constitute securities transactions because no joint enterprise exists. Remarks along these lines were made by former Chair Jay Clayton. During his tenure as Chair, 
Enter Gensler. Additionally, as reported by the media, Gary Gensler isn't. Quite astounding. Really. Bitcoin and Ethereum markets continue to take Hinman's comments at the Yahoo Finance Summit as a sign of direction and clarity. Even if the SEC warned him he couldn't speak on the agency's behalf, because what he said lacked direction, clarity, or approval, the lawyers are still expected to be aware of what was said and what's happening in the SECverse Ripple litigation. People are being told by the lawyers around here to use that speech. Just so you know, I'm not going to read this to you. Massachusetts is now a border state, and John Dean is running against Elizabeth Warren. It would be absolutely breathtaking to see if he can depose her and remove her from office. People like John should be more prominent in the Senate because of their support for cryptocurrency. We need to bring cryptocurrency back to the United States and convince these companies to remain listed on US exchanges. Trump was a crypto advocate. That way we can spearhead the cryptocurrency industry. Reliable sources have verified that SEC and Ripple have reached a final settlement in the XRP dispute, which will put an end to the litigation before June 1st. Presently, this has not been validated by a number of sources. That nothing is being confirmed. We refer to this as THUD. The video concludes with that. It would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to my channel and like it. Goodbye, see you later.